current asset and current liabilities both reside on the balance sheet. Both have the same characteristic in that they're both expected to have a life of less than one year. Hence, they're given the name current as opposed to non-current. Let's look into current assets first. First of all, it's an asset, and that name means that it will provide future benefit to a business. Examples include cash and cash equivalents, short-term investments, accounts receivable, prepaid items, and inventory. All of them are assets that you own and will give you future benefit if you prepaid for something, and that means you're going to get that something in the future. Accounts receivable means you're going to receive something from your customers in the future. Now let's look at current liabilities. Because they're a liability, they mean that there'll be a future obligation to the business. Examples include short-term debt, accounts payable, accrued expenses, dividends payable, and taxes payable. 